I always walk into these aisles and find like stuff like this that I know I want. Update from yesterday's video. Let's fill this sucker up and uh, see if it has a leak. Oh my gosh, this water is pretty dang cold. Ow, ow. Wait, oh, oh, look at that bird. What is that? What is going on, Kaferos? Last video I'm filming on the iPhone before I get my camera back. I am right now heading to Tractor Supply to get some pig food. Pigs are all roaming around out there, winking and, and making noises at me, and I don't have any pig food. So I got a little local feed store, get some food for pretty much everything. I decided I'll just pick up the camera early today instead of waiting until we do what we're gonna do inside, which is the title and thumbnail of this video, and that is getting the albino ready or sliders ready for winter. We did it last year, and we're about to do it again because it is freezing outside right now. Without further ado, uh, I'll see you at the local feed store. Woo! All right, got four bags of pig food, active adult and mature for like Bubba and Lulu, but I really just mix it and they eat what they eat. A pig can consume pretty much anything. Um, but yeah, I love it here. This is like th the best place ever. I always walk into these aisles and find like stuff like this that I know I want, but I'm not gonna get it yet because we don't have animals that need that kind of stuff yet, you know? Just look at this. So I know one thing, that music is gonna get me a, yeah, copyrighted, so let's, let's not. I'll see you at home. Boom, there we go. All six pigs, Bubba, Lulu, Daisy, Pua, Baloo, and Duke. Oh, gosh, that was probably the closest I've ever got to you doing that, Larry. What's your issue today, huh? Got little roosters running around. What? Oh my God, why? I don't mind if he's mean to me because at least I can defend myself. The other chickens, He's been great with, and they can't defend themselves mostly against a rooster that big at least. So good job, Larry. Let's keep being nice to them, all right? All right, I moved everything into here now that Larry's out um, feeding wise for all the animals. Chicken food, waterfowl food, all the waterfowl, you see the little ducks over there. Hey buddies, and then our swan. Always watch the pigs eat. Every single time the pigs eat, he's watching. And then the pig food, which I just fed and filled up this whole entire thing. That is what they eat right there. He's talking to the ladies. Get him, Larry. I taught you well, son. He said he likes the one on the left. I taught you well, son. Get her. Get her. In a nice way, but, oh gosh, he's going to get her. Look at this big swarm of animals. Hawk Feral brand on the ground. Signature on the sleeve. Check out the PC merch, by the way. It's 10% off the entire site right now. Polkferalbrand.com, top link in the description, 10% off. Go get yourself some merch. If you want to get it before Christmas, I would order it asap -aruni. That means like soon. <laughs> Update from yesterday's video. Holy clear. Check that out. How sick is that? You can see it through the glass on the side. Both the Malaysian box turtles. One's on top of the other. They're just chilling. And there's the side neck over there. And the other snapping turtles under him. All right, on to today's video. This right here, this giant tub, is where I'm going to keep the albino red ear sliders that are out back. All I need to do is make sure it doesn't have a leak because it's going to be inside where it's warm. And you know, we don't want the whole entire house to fill up with water. So with that being said, let's fill this sucker up and uh, see if it has a leak. And yes, we're gonna test if it has a leak inside because I don't want to fill it up outside, pour it out, then fill it up inside. So we're just gonna risk it for the biscuit. Water's on. If this is going in my kitchen, I'm gonna go crazy. Oh, imagine that hose is just like on the ground. We're filling up. Now, uh, hopefully there's no leaks. Fingers crossed. Drop a fingers crossed emoji down below. Yeah. So while this is filling up right here, I want to tell you guys what I do with the sulcata tortoises out back. When it's uh, this cold outside every single night, it's been like 45 degrees, which is way too cold. These two tubs right here, 
they're big enough for them to actually turn around in. I go out here, I grab them, I bring them in, and I put them in those tubs overnight, and then I put them back in the morning. But that is because I don't have anything set up housing-wise yet with the heating lamp inside the housing. I have housing for one of them, just not the heating lamp in it. I've been in touch with Camp Kennan. I don't know if you guys watch Camp Kennan, but if you do, you know exactly what I'm talking about. He knows this stuff when it comes to tortoises, and he's been helping me get these suckers ready for like next winter this winter i'm probably just gonna bring them in and out but next winter i'll be ready and i don't have to do the work they'll just go in themselves warm up come back and out in the morning check out the pool pond right now these suckers are all chilling look at them platinum red tails gotten so big big red tails over there oscars look at the gar stealth mode there's the arowana thing is massive now the reason why I don't have to get these guys inside is because this right here. This is pumped straight from the ground at 72 degrees, consistently 72 degrees, no matter what temperature it is outside. Like 60 feet in the ground is called well water. Doesn't need to be dechlorinated. Also is always 72 degrees, like I mentioned. That is pumping in this pond consistently. It then overflows out of that hole, down here, down there, and into that pond. It stays at this height, and at that temperature. But for these fellas right here, our albinos, and there's a soft shell in here, but for these guys, you see how they bury themselves? They need to get out of there and into here. That's enough water too, by the way, holy moly. Now I've got the heat lamp for these turtles, but I also need a UVB light, which I'm gonna have to get when this video is over. I'm actually gonna run out and just get that because I have to get this video up at a certain time. It's Vlogmas, guys, it's Vlogmas. I gotta post every single day. So I gotta get this done. So I gotta get this video done and then I'll run out and I'll get that UVB light and hook that up too. It's Vlogmas, it's Vlogmas. What a great time of year, but you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of work to do this. Let me get the turtles out. Oh my gosh, this water is pretty dang cold. Ow, ow, your nails are sharp, holy moly. All right, our first albino right here slider is this big old female right here. Bring her on over. Boom. Oh my gosh, this water is like 72 degrees. This is super dope, by the way, too. Like this little setup right here is so sick. Oh, this is the first one I ever had. Little baby. Look how cute he is. Get this guy inside too. The cool thing about this everyday thing is uh, a lot of the stuff I'm gonna be doing this month that I normally wouldn't film, I'm gonna be filming. Like simply just feeding all the animals. I usually don't film that often. I would film it like once a week maybe. Yesterday's video, redoing that little tank, I would have never filmed that, but I was like, it's Vlogmas, baby. We gotta film that. Holy moly, that water is cold. Another turtle right here. Say hi, buddy. Say hi. That's three so far. <sighs> Dang, look at them nails. Gosh darn, boy. <sighs> Here's the other two. Look how crazy that looks. Cause that's so dope. Total of six albinos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Six turtles right there. Now one more. Oh, I had to do a little jumping for this one. This is Pinocchio. Okay, so look, they clearly, look at them just roaming around. They're definitely loving this a lot more than that ice box out there. Temporary and to keep them warm. That's the goal. It is beautiful outside. Absolutely stunning. Look at how clear the water is. Look at little baby. Baby tiger shoveling those. He's gotten so big. Jaguar cichlid in there. Everything. But oh, oh look at that bird. What is that? Oh, blue heron. Big old blue heron hanging out next to the pond. This is the yard, y'all. I have plans for it. And this month I am going to buy a smaller housing housing something like that but very small actually compared to that the piglets all these pigs i want to put like a little little house thing you can buy them at home depot i've mentioned it before on the channel they look like this they're super super cool i also want to move that chicken coop next to that thing so we have both those next to each other and then dedicate a spot for this little house because from here now that i have pigs chickens swan ducks I want to start getting more, uh, like, like baby goats or uh, maybe donkey or baby cow. There's a lot of things I can get with this much land. Uh, oh, pizza's here. That's that's my pizza. <laughs> One sec. Oh my goodness. That is officially all I got for you guys today. Day three of Vlogmas is officially over. I do have some questions I tweeted out the other day. Q&A in an upcoming video, drop me some questions. I don't have a big following on Twitter, so there's only like 60 something questions dropped. Hey, if you do want to follow me on Twitter, it's at Paul Caffaro with just an extra O. But I got a couple here in front of me. Elena said, dream size tank. 
probably like um like a 5000 gallon massive no i'm kidding but like realistically like 3000 gallons a pretty big tank next question i'm going to run through these real quick is water wet I'll let you guys figure that out in the comments down below. Next, what keeps you motivated? I've mentioned this multiple times. What keeps me motivated is the support and the feedback from who is watching my stuff. So every time I ask you guys to like the video and you guys smash the like button and it drops like 20,000 likes, 30,000 likes, I mean, that's motivating to me right there. So if you haven't done so already, drop a like. But yeah, no, for real. Um, what keeps me motivated is the support and feedback from the Caferos. Next, Tiffany says, what is it like owning your own house? Um, gets quiet at times, could be awesome at times, a lot of responsibility, a lot of money and bills, nothing really good to be honest with you. <laughs> it's much better not paying rent and staying at your parents' house and doing the same thing. But hey, I needed the land, that's how I'm gonna grow as a person, as a business, everything. This house right here is uh, making moves. I like it, to be honest, I like it. Next, if you were an animal right now, what animal would you be? I'd be a pig and I would live with the other six that are outside. They get fed well, they have a nice big enclosure, and they sleep all in a group in a pack, in a giant ball. The real question is, what would you be? Last one, obviously you've accomplished a lot of your goals, but what is another goal you have? Another goal I have? It's a really good question. Honestly, hmm, hmm. I would say just to continue to grow. Continue to grow as a person, as a brand, um, yeah. That's probably my next goal. Just literally never stop. Just continue to grow. I will work till the day I die. That is a fact. To be able to support a family. That's a pretty solid goal. All right. That's all I got for you guys. Found a positive comment shout out. Just like that. Bang, bang, boom. Today's positive comment shout out goes out to... Paul. I'm going to post every day of the holiday. Me, oh my God, I'm not going for my holiday. I am watching PC all day. Triple laughing emoji. Thank you all so much for watching. That was today's positive comment shout out. If you want to win a positive comment shout out and have your comment on the screen, what is it for me? This all you gotta do is drop a positive comment down in the comments down below. I said that so fast. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. We're posting every day this month. At least I'm gonna to try to post every day this month. If I miss a day or two, don't slap me in the face for it. I'm trying my best. PC merch, 10% off, top link in the description. Until next time for us, I'll see you in that next video. Peace.